An interesting case that we recently seen was uh, uh, on one of our colleagues, an anesthesiologist in his uh, 45, neocardiovascular risk factor, was quite fit, having jogging almost uh, every morning, that uh, suddenly, uh, one morning while shaving, he had uh, a flash pulmonary edema. He realized that, he treated himself uh, with the intravenous uh, furosemid and went uh, to the emergency room. At the first ECG, he had uh, atrial fibrillation with a high heart rate, and we performed a, a, a um, quick uh, echo using our V-scan to realize that he has a severe mitral regurgitation with likely a flail of the posterior mitral leaflet. The patients uh, under, underwent also CT to check the coronary arteries that we are clean. So the patient was stabilized and uh, transferred it to our cardiology ward. And uh, after uh, a couple of days, he, and, uh, he had uh, his uh, transthoracic and transesophageal uh, 3D echocardiography and underwent successful surgical valve repair with full recovery. So uh, ECG was uh, the first line and uh, we uh, saw that there was a uh, uh, high rate atrial fibrillation. This may be as well uh, a cause of uh, flash pulmonary edema, but it's quite unusual that in uh, such a young uh, patient uh, otherwise uh, well could have uh, this uh, high atrial fibrillation. So we uh, needed uh, some imaging to check uh, the function of the heart. And this was critical to detect severe mitral regurgitation, dilated atrium, that it is the pathophysiological basis of atrial fibrillation. And then at uh, 45 years of age, despite no cardiovascular risk factors, uh, you should critically uh, exclude uh, coronary stenosis as another cause of atrial fibrillation. This was done very quickly in the emergency room with the CT. So the patient uh, had a proper diagnosis already in the emergency room. What we needed just to assess better the anatomy of the mitral valve, this was done in the ward, just to provide the cardiac surgeon with the essential informations to proceed for valve repair and this is the invaluable help of 3D echocardiography.